Groundbreaking work is going on all over the UK, and we pioneer a lot of medical innovations, including the creation of prosthetic limbs. In South London, 29-year-old Nikki has been using prosthetics since she was tiny. I was born with one hand. No one necessarily knows why. There's no medical rationale for it. It's just the way that I came out, and that's that. From about six months old, I had a what's called a dolly arm. And then I continued to wear various prosthetics until I was about 12. They either did nothing or they had a rudimentary mechanism where it might go like this. I'd say that in general, I preferred to not wear a prosthetic because they were heavy and they were hot. I couldn't do everything with them. I never felt with a cosmetic hand that it was part of me. So I just stopped bothering. Prosthetics have moved on considerably, even in Nikki's lifetime. And things that were once science fiction have become reality. Last year, Nikki heard about an amazing new development. A bionic hand. One that aims to copy the way a human hand works. Since then, she's been under the care of Abdo Haidar, a specialist in prosthetics based in Surrey. Our hand is incredible. The way it moves, the way it operates is just incredible, the way it was designed. To be able to copy it in a prosthetic hand is nearly impossible. But with the B Bionic hand, really the design of it is to really try to be able to move the five fingers together around any object you might want to touch or carry. The new hand has sensors which react to specific muscle twitches from Nikki's arm, causing the hand to move. I just press one button inside the socket to open it and the other button to close it. Contact point is, is pretty good. Each sensor creates 14 different grip patterns and hand positions. It has different grips pre-programmed into it, so I can do different positions with the hand where it opens and closes. The hand has over 300 parts and was created with the same software used to design Formula One cars. Made of aluminium, it's designed to be super lightweight. I can grip small, delicate things. I can carry something like a glass. I can also use it for, um, position it for typing when I'm at my desk. I see that there are a lot of possibilities for what I can do with it in the future. It's a pretty amazing piece of technology. Nikki is the first person in the UK to have this bionic hand. But technology is moving so fast, it won't be long before her experience is taken to another level. In 10 years, the human will be more connected to the bionics. So you plug in your arm to your bone directly, and therefore the connection already connects to the nerve surgically. So as you plug in, you will start feeling straight away. So the future for Nikki looks even brighter.